Creepy ways your senses lie to keep you sane. Number three, the missing time trick. Ever zoned out while driving and suddenly realized you don't remember the last five miles? Congratulations, your brain just deleted part of your life for your own comfort. This isn't a glitch, it's a feature. When your senses detect something too repetitive or boring, your brain quietly hits the skip intro button like it's binge watching your commute. It's called time compression, and it's how your brain decides what's worth remembering. The creepy part? While your body was obeying traffic laws, you weren't really there. You were on autopilot, running a simulation of reality while your mind took a smoke break. It's the same reason long road trips feel short, but waiting two minutes for the microwave feels eternal. Your perception of time isn't real. It's just a convenience filter. Your brain edits the footage, adds jump cuts, and pretends it's all continuous. Basically, you're the star of a poorly edited film, and your director's too lazy to keep every scene. Number two, the phantom touch effect. Picture this, your phone vibrates in your pocket. You check it, nothing. Nobody texted, nobody called, but your skin swears something just buzzed. Welcome to Phantom Vibration Syndrome, the modern day ghost story starring your nervous system. It happens because your brain is obsessed with patterns and it hates being wrong more than it hates silence. So when it thinks it felt something, a muscle twitch, fabric brushing your skin, whatever, it fills in the blanks and says, yup, that's definitely a notification from your imaginary friends. It's like your nervous system gets bored and starts pranking you. Psychologists say it's linked to anxiety and anticipation. Your body literally rewires itself to expect constant digital contact. It's creepy because it means your brain can fake sensations, not just interpret them. Basically, your body's like, we made up a vibration because you looked lonely. Number one, the filter of reality. Here's a terrifying thought. You've never actually seen the world as it truly is. Every sight, sound, and touch you've ever experienced has already been edited, color corrected, and approved by the PR team inside your skull. Your senses don't report reality. They report a version of it that keeps you calm enough to function. Right now, your eyes aren't showing you everything in front of you. They're showing you the parts your brain thinks matter. Your pupils, for instance, see the world upside down and your brain quietly flips it so you don't panic about living in Australia. Colors, not real. They're just your brain's way of labeling wavelengths of light. Even your sense of now is delayed by about 80 milliseconds, meaning you're technically living in the past. Your entire sensory experience is basically a heavily censored feed edited to protect your sanity. The universe is raw, chaotic, and overwhelming, so your brain filters out 99% of it and hands you a highlight reel. It's like living in a VR headset that lies just enough to keep you from screaming. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments how your day's going.